All right, let's talk a little bit of NBA Finals. All right, this uh, Matthew Delavidova, I hope I'm saying that right. You are. A lot of people are saying last night and today on Twitter that he's Cleveland's version of Jeremy Lin in the sense that both of them were just flashes in the pan. Do you agree with that assessment? He had one night, they figured it out, they moved on. They just run him into picks. They run him into the ground. He can crawl all over the floor all he wants to, but he's he's what he is. He is a, a high energy player, who basically, I, I the last game I was watching, he was calling to get out because he was tired. So he he's not a 25 minute. He, he yeah, uh, Jeremy Lin did it uh, longer than one game. Right. <laughs> so. Um, Della Vadova was the 10th leading scorer for Cleveland this year. He scored about four points, a little over four points a game. Right. He didn't play a lot of minutes. No. What you find out with guys like that is, especially in high pressure situations like this, when you leave them out there long enough, the warts start to show. Della Vadova is nothing more than a backup point guard and probably a not very good one over the course of a full season. He's probably, probably a number three point guard. Yeah, when I was you know. covering pro basketball, there was a guy who was the 12th man on the team when they had only 12 players, Lee Davis, nicest guy in the world. Uh, two guys got hurt, he went in the game, he had 30, 34 points and 10 rebounds. I said to him after the game, uh, do you expect to keep this up? He said, no, but I am changing my name. I said, what are you changing to? He said, Lou Alcindor. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee Davis returned to the bench and was never heard from again. That's kind yeah. of what we're seeing. It's there. a cute story. So you're saying, <laughs> but it ain't gonna last. So you're saying uh, that games two and games three are nothing more than aberration. Correct. Well, uh, the last game he was 0 for nine or something like. But, 0 for but to your point, he's a scrappy player. I mean, he's oh, well. he's gonna be the uh, the antagonist. He yeah. plays that role well. Did but you, you ever just see, don't. Uh, but, but again, teams when he's out on the floor a lot, teams figure out what they can do to him, and he's That's been out said, on the floor a little too much. Picks. Did you ever see uh, white men can't jump? Yes. Yeah, he was like one of those guys on that court. Uh, <laughs> on the beach, you know, to, that you go, go away. You're not, we're not going to pick you the next game. You know, if they had a choose up game, he would be last one of the two teams to be selected. You brought up Jeremy Lin. It was a nice story while it lasted. You go to buy a car. What do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from. And you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price. The best price. And you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more. Because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things, too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things, too. Come see us or click on johnelwaychevrolet.com.